he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day as he usually did. He stood up to read. And they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll he found the place where it is written. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, for he has anointed me to bring the good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives, sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free. To proclaim a year of favor from the Lord. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant and sat down. And all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them, This text is being fulfilled today even while you are listening. And he won the approval of all, and they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, No doubt you will quote me the saying, Physician, heal yourself, and tell me, We have heard all that happened in Capernaum, do the same here in your own country. And he went on, In truth I tell you, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months and a great famine raged throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these, he was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a town in Sidonia. And in the prophet Elisha's time there were many suffering from virulent skin diseases in Israel, but none of these was cured, only Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town, and they took him up to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him off the cliff. But he passed straight through the crowd and walked away. 